guys can see on Sunday, I wore the Nike Timberland. I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's restart. Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video. Hope everyone is having a great day today. Today is another episode of Weekly Sneaker Rotation, episode 103. So for episode 103, we need to make sure to hit 1,030 likes. Thank you so much for the support we have been getting on this series. It does mean a lot to me, but starting the, the thing off, starting the week off, I don't even know how to speak English. Starting the week off, I wore the Timberland 6-inch boot in this charcoal colorway on Sunday. Uh, I got these for 100 bucks back in September. Haven't worn these enough. It's a really just subtle, toned down, yet completely awesome colorway of the Timberland 6-inch boot. I was playing a basketball playoff game on Sunday, and I actually put up a video of me playing that game on my vlog channel. So for all you guys that are always asking for basketball videos, hit the button in the top right-hand corner of the screen, and go check out that video and subscribe to my vlog channel to see a whole bunch of more basketball videos coming over the next few months. But switching things up on Monday, I think I broke these up for the first time ever. Like, I'm pretty sure I've undead stocked these. I don't think I wore these before today, or on Monday, I mean. I may be wrong though, but I wore the uh, Nike Kobe 10 Elite Low Multicolor, which is just a sweet colorway. This is obviously a Nike ID that I made. I think these turned out great. It was a pretty nice day on Monday for the most part. I think it did start snowing a little bit, which was unfortunate, but it was very nice for the most or for most of the day. So I decided to break these out, you know, a bit more of a springtime, summertime shoe, and fingers crossed we're actually gonna start seeing some of that spring and summer weather next week. But on Tuesday, it definitely was not as nice of a day. It was snowing pretty heavily in the earlier part of the day, and I wore the Barkley Posit Max in this metallic silver, gamma blue, and black colorway. This is a much older sneaker in my collection. Like this was in the early days of me collecting sneakers. I probably only had around 15 to 20 pairs of shoes when I got this pair of shoes. So it is definitely older in terms of most of my sneakers that I have, but they are very, very nice. Nonetheless, the weather was terrible on Tuesday. As I said though, uh, it just was not fun to be outside. And sadly, I was outside a lot on Tuesday, but at least I had some pretty nice shoes. These might, these might be a bit too wild for some people, but I think they are absolutely amazing. And then moving on to the later part of Tuesday, it just got even worse. It was raining and snowing at the same time. It was just disgusting outside and there was huge puddles everywhere So I made an executive decision and switched up the shoes to the Adidas Stan Smith in this black and white colorway uh, It was disgusting outside So I'm glad I wore these because they are really really easy to clean You literally just take a wet paper towel to them and they look brand new once again moving to Wednesday much nicer day on Wednesday Thankfully it was not snowing. It was not raining. It was just a good weather day and I wore the Nike Tempo 94 mid. This is just a go-to shoe for me when I am lazy. Don't feel like throwing anything too crazy on, but I still want a nice pair of kicks. Actually had a meeting on Wednesday about something and uh, was coaching basketball on Wednesday as well. So it was a pretty busy day for me actually, but this shoe is a great shoe to just have a busy day in because they're very comfortable. Uh, at the end of the day, your feet are not going to be sore and they look freaking sweet. So what's not to love about those? Moving on to Thursday, had to throw these and I, I just been itching to wear these for a long time hadn't worn these in a few weeks and I really wanted to again this is one of my favorite shoes to just break out and wear because they look great even if you beat them up a lot the Air Jordan 1 Laney lots of people aren't a huge fan of this colorway simply because it's very very bright and out there and that color blocking like two primary colors just bam in your face I don't even know if yellow is a primary color I might be completely lying I don't even know if blue is for that matter but I, I might be completely lying don't trust anything I say about colors but these are a nice pair of sneakers the Air Jordan 1 Laney Moving on to Friday, we actually had a very nice day on Friday. Uh, the weather was great, so I wore another sort of spring summertime type shoe in the Nike Air Hirachi in this gray and white and black and blue and little hits of mango infrared type color. Lots of colors on the shoe. Thank you to Champ Sports for sending these out a long time ago, like almost two years ago. I've definitely gotten my wear out of these. This is probably my most worn shoe that I've gotten from Champ Sports, and it's just a great pair of shoes. Very, very nice, and the colorway, the comfort, the style, just the price point too, like they're very affordable as well. Uh, just a lot of things to love about the Hirachi run. Moving on to Saturday, wrapping things up. Saturday was a very busy day for me. I actually filmed a collaboration video with a fellow YouTuber on Saturday afternoon, so that was really fun. Saturday night, I was playing a lot of basketball, so that was also very fun, but I wore the Foamposite Pro in this red October Yeezy colorway. 
very nice. Like these things are very nice. This is probably gonna end up being one of my most worn pairs of shoes in 2016 because when you know all the snow and the dirt and the puddles disappear, I'm gonna be breaking these out a lot. I just absolutely love all red shoes, but that is going to wrap up this episode of Weekly Sneaker Rotation, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.